Hey guys, so this past few days, um, I wasn't sick, not like I was sick, but I was not just feeling myself, like I was not really getting myself and all, like, I wasn't, okay, she said she's the word, I wasn't just happy, you know that people who do come to you for like, advice, um, your words, like, they just feel everything is okay with you and no need for them to like check up on you and all i know that's fine you know it's actually it's actually a challenge and there was something my pastor spoke about which is prayers and i'm like it really got me so i decided to share this but for me i would tie to that purpose and you know what this past few days that I stopped like this zeal to pray really weakens me and even if I pray it was just a should I say a weak one it was not actually prayers like prayers so um okay so I took this as a tradition uh, every morning the first I read and I pick something from I'll have to post it on my status my whatsapp status and anywhere if you make this thing a tradition without understanding it you're gonna be lost and so i was lost i had to find myself back through prayer prayer is just everything prayer is life within the bible is life so without prayer you just get to do anything okay without prayers the spirit of god is not with you so under the topic purpose for creation if I may ask what's your purpose, you may like say this is it, this is that, this is it. And yeah, it might be true because I just want to I just want you all to know. I just want to let I just want to let you know. <laughs> Without prayers, our purposes are useless. Yeah, so to say they are useless. Okay, this past few days I was not really feeling myself and all okay like this laziness and need to pray and all just like it was it was just there in me i was just feeling weak when i want to talk to god our heavenly father in jesus name amen and that's all like it was kind of weird for me but i was like okay deep down i knew something was wrong but i couldn't just understand yeah i know it was prayers and i didn't have enough time for god and all so as a result of now like praying this past few days i wasn't just feeling the fire i wasn't inclined that's what i noticed myself so what i thought about was like what's happening god i don't do what people of the world do i don't smoke i don't drink i don't go clubbing blush blush what they do but why am i not happy why are you not making me happy? i was asking myself all this but you know <laughs> sorry but i was sort of foolish with that and then to the point for a moment i am not praying why but still when i like i'll pray i'm praying and then i divert into something like thank you jesus and i'm just making it short and quick quick like i'm just talking to sort of kids up like, sunday morning i'm like i was so weak standing from my bed i'm like what the hell like what's wrong with me this is not me this is not shalom at all i have to do something about I stood up and then I lay down back on my bed I'm like I'm not going like if I don't attend church today like we even count up I'm like just a day I was asking myself is this really me I just went to YouTube and then the first thing I saw he was saying um power of love okay and it says sorry I love the song so much I want you guys to pick from the song. I'm like, 
how can I go? How can I? How can I not go to church on a Sunday? Like, really? I just stood up and have my bad restings or picked anything just to wear. And like, I have to be in church. Going to church. My pastor, behold, he spoke about this topic prayers. I'm like, so if I hadn't come, like, if I would have just yielded to the devil, this is what would have happened. I've just missed it totally, and then. You know, there's one thing I came to discover that the devil look for, like a slightest, any slightest chance to get in between the space between you and God, just that space you are giving him, and then he starts to manifest. Before you know, within you just start to feel different. Okay, so that is why I came to speak to you about the purpose of creation. Now, if I may ask, what's your purpose of? Oh, why did God create you and you can be like yeah yeah I'm also a victim he created us to fulfill our purpose and now the question it's true but the question is what is that purpose he created you for and some people will be like your talent what's your talent dancing some people like cooking okay me <laughs> and like when I had this channel when I opened this channel it was a few months ago and I'm like okay I know how to cook. I'm a very good cook. Why can't I not like, be showing you all how to cook and all? And then I was doing that. If I should ask what prayer is, you would say prayer means talking to God. Prayer means communicating with God. Yeah, that's true. But also having some kind of conversation with Him, a deep conversation, relationship with Him. That is it. I know. It's true that all of us were born sinners, okay? So I know this is not this isn't this didn't come with us, okay? It's not like a tradition for us. It's for us to be born and then to know that this is the purpose why we were given birth. So I heard my pastor clearly he was like parented prayer is the first start of every prayer. We were all born in sin. So now for us to start a relationship with him, we have to pray. Um, okay, there's this part of the Bible in Proverbs 15 verse 29 that says, The Lord is far away from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. Now in this verse, who is the Lord? Like who are they referring to as the wicked? Because they're the people who who don't pray, right? Okay, now let me explain this very well. Actually, in those verses, referring to us as wicked, wicked is only a wicked person that will come and meet you for something, ask you for something, and then you give it to the person, and then after that day, you already got the answers. This person is going to distance you, like keep you away for it can even be for a whole year till you need that thing again. You come in, like, wouldn't you say the person is wicked? Of course. Yes, so you see, many don't get answers because they live quiet for a while until when they have this problem, excuse me, before they have to come back to him. And you see, that's why sometimes our prayers are delayed. The most important part of prayer is communicating with him, communicating with him, not just because you're meant to talk to him, you're meant to communicate with him, but because you have to develop the relationship with him for other things that follows kinds of prayers and number one is the most important that is communication communication and that is communicating with god talking to god if you don't know someone if you don't have a strong relationship with a person will you want to be communicating with that person no so that's why it's very important to communicate with god with before other things follows call him like talk to him he's your sweetheart right how you talk to your mom like you love her how you talk to your sisters your brothers like you love them that's the same way you talk to god like your father talk to your father your earthly father that's the same way you talk to him or even more talk and number two prayers for supplication supplications like for our needs also it's very important but before then, you have to what, know him, you have to like communicate with him, you have to have a relationship with him before asking him for what you need. Then number three, we have intersection. This prayer is praying behalf of other people 
and that's very important again you have to pray for other people you know there's one thing i want to let you know that you know god answers the prayer when someone intercedes on your behalf so when you, you see this it's a god of words it's a god of words love that's why he's asked us to even love each other you praying for another person it means you have this love in your heart and that's why god is going to answer you your friends giving that like counting your blessing one by one i just urge you to ask to thank him in faith if that your life actually is something to thank god for so you thanking god lord thank you for this thank you for that thank you that i have a family thank you because i'm going to school thank you because nothing bad happened to me thank you because of life thank you because you are god thank you because everything everything you need to thank him for you just have to thank him okay so i'll just make this easy for us like you know all of us know our lord's prayer right <laughs> and the lord's prayer says our father what in heaven hallowed be thy name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven that's what communication having this relationship with him then second second thing is give us this day our daily bread give us this day our daily bread you're asking god for something that as prayer for supplication and forgive us our debts or our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us or as we have forgiven our debtors okay we have a forgiveness god and repentance and the other one spiritual welfare dealing with your mind like fighting battles in your mind i know temptation is lead us not into temptation but deliver us from all evil you have to like fight those battles because the devil he is wise forget he wants to just he's just here to destroy you know wouldn't let the devil defeat us and also we wouldn't ask god for something when we're in trouble that's the most important thing we should know we should always keep in touch with him we should always incline our heart we should always burn for god you know if we're not burning for him who else are we burning for of course the devil so it's either one way or the other are you following god are you following him so if you're not burning with him and the devil of course the devil is wise he knows and when he notices that okay she is lacking behind like she's weak he he always he will want to come in between when he comes in between of course you'll be burning for the devil there are things you start doing that you do you don't do before and all so this will be a topic for another day um moralist and what a christian there's a big difference between it well, I guess I'm going to stop here now Hope and pray that God give us the grace, give us knowledge and understanding to know why we need to pray. And also, may we not pray when we need him or when we are in trouble. May we pray because we need to communicate with him and also to maintain a very good relationship with him in Jesus name. Amen. God has actually solved the biggest problem in my life and that's what prayers relationship with him I just thank God and I hope the relationship continue because we without him I am nothing I am worthless so him be with me can only make me better can only make me to be the best okay so I'm happy Thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys once again. So I'll be waiting for your comments just to know your thoughts. It all depends on you. See you in my next video. Bye.